Hi there, my name is Hal Blattman. I'm a medical physician and medical director of the Blattman Health and Wellness Center. And I'm here with TJ Lonergan. And I'm a uh, clinic director for Impact Health and Spine Centers. I'm a chiropractor. And, and, and we're going to talk today about neuropathy. And the first part we're going to talk about is what is neuropathy? So most people don't know what neuropathy means. They just something they get a term they hear at a doctor's office, and then you go home, you try to Google it, and you wonder what the heck is this? Right. And neuropathy has to do with damage to your nerves, and we usually talk about peripheral neuropathy because central neuropathy happens in your brain, and peripheral is everything outside of that, and mostly it affects hands and feet, fingers and toes, and the symptoms would be what? Well. And from the word neuropathy, you know, the pathy means patho, something wrong. And so something's not right. It's, just an, it's an altered sensation. And that can be anything from your feet are cold, but then you touch them and they're warm. Right. Or your feet are warm, uh, but they feel cold. Right. Or you think you're walking on rocks. Yeah, or pins and needles. Pins and needles. Numbness. You, you feel like your feet are wood, blocks so, of wood you carry so around. So your nerves are not working. And they're not working the way they should, yeah. and so your sensation is altered anywhere from numbness to pain. Yeah. All of that can happen. And why does it affect mostly your fingers and your toes before it affects other pieces? Well, because in those areas, you know, the nerve endings are very sensitive because that's we're out there finding the world. And those are the tiny nerve endings supplied their nutrition by the tiny blood vessels, and the injuries to these areas happen first and more severely than the ones to the bigger nerves in our more central nervous system. And what kinds of things cause those injuries? Well, for a lot of people, it can be diabetes. Diabetes? About 70% of uh, diabetics will get a peripheral a diabetic neuropathy. Chemotherapy is a big one because mm -hmm. you know, it, it affects you know how uh, the nutrition and the health of those little sensory nerves, those little sensitive nerves, is managed and maintained. And then anything else that affects this nerve itself, being able to signal from the brain all the way down to the toe, anywhere along the line there can be problems that can add to this. And these injuries can either be a direct injury by a drug that causes injury to the nerve, or it can be a lack of blood supply like in diabetes, extra what we call oxidative stress that damages all kinds of parts of our body and the nerves don't survive so well and they sustain this kind of injury. And then you get these those little electrical shorts in the system and you start getting either misinformation or no information right. you know, and you start getting you know in the end game death of the tissue. And people um, think especially of peripheral neuropathy but I think we want to make the point that it doesn't happen in isolation just in the periphery. You've got tiny nerves in your heart, tiny nerves all through your body that also get injured at the same time. You only notice it in your fingers and your toes because you touch things. If your heart could touch things and you would feel that, you'd think much differently about this whole concept. So, so you're saying the Tin Man who doesn't have a heart wouldn't feel this? He might not feel it at all. That's exactly right. Yeah. And don't think that the injuries to your fingers and your toes are happening in isolation just in your fingers and toes. This injury from chemotherapy and diabetes is all over your body. Because, you know, the diabetes is having to do with the blood and the blood's everywhere. The chemotherapy is put into your blood in which it's going everywhere. everywhere. And it's, oxidative stress from those in, is everywhere. And when you have your fingers and toes being the furthest thing away from home, Right, way out there, like kids away at college. Mm -hmm. You know, that's where you can't watch over them. Can't watch them over every second. That's right, you know, and you got to make sure everything's happening. You know that that the proper exchange of nutrients is happening. That all the groceries are getting all the house in the house, and all the garbage is getting out of the house. So hopefully, this little interchange will help you understand what is a neuropathy and how do you get it. I'm Hal Blattman of the Blattman Health and Wellness Center here today with. T.J. Lonergan with Impact Health and Spine Centers. And you have a wonderful day.